Hello. Hello. We finally finished the roof of our tiny shipping container house. That's great news. And today we're going to talk about how we managed to solve the problem of bringing the water that was going through the hanging part of our wooden deck through the main roof by creating some, how you call it? Roof eaves? Yeah, we create a few kind of different kinds of roof eaves. So let's get started. the main roof we still had another few drainage problems to solve in order to make it easier to understand we're going to show you guys now a picture of the roof before we solve the problems and we're going to divide the roof into five sections because each section was a different solution so here's the roof the section one is the main roof the second session was made out of 47 small roofs located in these four areas Section 3 is located in these two areas. And that's where the gutters are going to be. The fourth section is in the north side of the shipping container. And that's where the shipping container's doors are located. Section number 5 is this area in between both sides of the shipping container. Well, section number 1 you guys have already seen in the past episode. If you didn't watch, it's right there. That's the link for the first episode of our roof. So this episode talks all about the main roof, so we can skip this part and go straight to section number two. The solution for the second session was really simple. Yeah, it was basically straightforward. We basically install small roofs, I mean 47 small roofs, in between all the joists and had a slope bringing the water towards the main roof. So let's go to section number three. Yeah. Section number three. I need to make sure I know which section it is. Section number three is the south end of the shipping container and the west end of the shipping container. They are basically the same thing. Actually, the section number four was supposed to be also the same thing, but we're gonna see in the future that it's a little bit different, so we're gonna treat different. So section number three, we basically created a second roof on the same direction as the main roof, as you can see in this drawing, but a lot shorter and higher. So basically we have like a roof on the top of a roof that brings the water to the main roof and to the gutter. And for this we needed to create some supports to support the roof. Yeah. And there was another problem that if we do like straight the whole roof like this, the water would go through the hanging on the sides. So the corners of the shipping container we need to treat different so we could bring the water from the corners to the center. And in this way we couldn't use the same kind of roof because it's just too thick and it was just too confusing. The solution was to... To buy an aluminum plate and to, to work the yeah. format. We basically bought a really thin aluminum plate and bent the sides and, you it's know... It's really easy to work with really this material. Yeah, it was not that expensive actually. Yeah. I thought it would be expensive, but it was not that expensive. So we got an aluminum plate and we could like, you know, bend around and make sure the water goes to the right direction. And there was one, there's one tip when you work with this kind of plate, aluminum you cannot use different kind of screws. You, you were supposed to use aluminum screws, but we couldn't find aluminum screws. And that's the reason why we use some plastic things in between the screw and the plate. Otherwise, the contact between different materials would uh, corrode the aluminum. So, section number four now. Number four is, is the north side of the shipping container. Yeah, it's the, it was where the doors of the shipping containers are. Yeah. And actually, it's the beginning of the, the the, the slope roof. of the roof. Yeah, I mean, that, that was the most complicated one. Took a while thinking about a solution and thinking and thinking and we actually couldn't find a solution. We gave up. Basically, well, you know, like, if the roof, the main roof could go all the way to the north and start from the far north you, as you can go, but we have a joist right in the middle, so the water wouldn't cross this joist in order to get to the end of the roof. So we need to find a way of crossing this joist for the water to cross this joist and get to the main roof. And we didn't find. Yeah, we couldn't find a solution. Instead, we decided to not bring the water to the main roof. Yeah. So we created a roof on the on, on other direction. Yeah, on the opposite direction, like to the side, and yeah. decide that this small roof, the water is instead of going to the main gutter, is gonna go to a side gutter, just a small gutter. 
It's like 40 centimeters. Yeah, it's like a small piece of the roof. So we, we decide just, you know, like it was just giving us too much trouble. And we decide to just bring the water to the side. And I mean, works is not the best solution, but works. If you guys have any other solution for that, please let us know on the comment section below. Yeah. We would love to hear. Not that we can change anything now, but someone. there's always someone watching the video that can be, you know, use these informations on their own project. So it's always good to, you know, help someone else. Section number five were the connection between both containers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at first we thought this would be the comp most complicated one because, you know, when you have the connection between both containers, you have roof going to different sides, 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 yes, yeah, sides. <laughs> And it's, I mean, we thought it would be complicated, but in the end it was really, really simple. It was the easiest solution, actually. Yeah, we just put uh, some kind of hat on the top of the beam, so the water can go yeah, this way. Yeah, because basically, the, you know, what divides both roofs, it's a beam. And this beam, you know, you, you have like, oh, it's like a, a place that you can have gaps between the roof and the beam, because the wood, you know, moves around and... You know, sometimes the water can go through any hole in between, so we create this small roof on the top of the beam to make sure the water drips and when falls on the roof, it's already on the roof and not on the, you know, the corner of the roof. So, I mean, works really easy and it's good. I guess we can show by images. Yeah, I mean, like, we've been talking a lot and it's really complicated sometimes to understand what we mean. As usual. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we're going to show you guys the image of everything we've done and hope you guys can understand a little bit better. So, video clip, no. solve one of the problems, the junction between both containers, because the water, it's easier to go inside, you know, the little gaps. So you're gonna do a small little roof on the, in between them, so the water go, you know, divide the water. No idea how hot it is right now. It's too hot.
almost there. <laughs> I mean, like two thirds done, one third to go, I guess. Tired. What are you doing? Well, like always, we don't have the right size and angle of wood, so we're trying to combine a few of them, glue them together, screw them together, and get what we need for to support the end of the roof. You we'll see. <laughs> Good. Yep. It's gonna hold. I mean, it's really light. possible to understand the solutions we have made yep uh, and we forgot to talk about the we use uh, asphalt paint on the roof actually is because uh, in the main roof we didn't use on the patches we did like some patches with asphalt uh, tape and we are just trying to see if the tape attaches better to the wood when we have a primer underneath so it's a test so it's basically a test to make sure we have like a really good uh, a durian? A durian? I don't know. This Here. <laughs> yeah. Next Monday, we are finally going to talk about how we install the pipes and the gutters and everything for the roof so we can drain the water from the roof and all the problems we needed to solve in order to do that. So, see you guys next, next week. week. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to leave us a thumbs up. <laughs>